If you're glued to reality TV, you know that polygamist families do exist in the US. While the traditional practice remains illegal across all 50 states, reports suggest that polygamy is prevalent nationwide, with up to 50,000 people living in plural families. As strange as it may seem, there is the curiosity about how and why someone would ever want to live in a plural union. Thanks to TLC's reality shows such as Sister Wives, My Five Wives, Three Wives One Husband, and Brother Husbands, we have been able to learn more and more about modern-day plural marriages. With many people still wanting to understand such lifestyles better, TLC debuted Seeking Sister Wife in January 2018, featuring three modern-day polygamist families, the Snowdens, the Aldridges, and the Brineys. A year later, the reality TV show came back for its second season, introducing two new families, the McGees and the Winders. Why did the Brineys never return? Can you believe that a family patriarch featured in the show actually hid his eight children from TLC viewers? Who gave birth during the coronavirus outbreak? Which cast member from the second season suffered a fatal heart attack? Find the answers and more in our video. Click the bell for notifications and don't forget to subscribe! The Snowdens Dimitri and Ashley Capri Snowden were one of the most talked about couples in the first season of Seeking Sister Wife. As fans recall, the Snowden courted a woman named Jocelyn during the show's very first run. But all did not go as planned. Following the failed attempt to add a new sister wife to the family, the couple returned with a new girl, Vanessa Cobbs, in the second season. After six months of courting, Dimitri got down on one knee and popped the big question. The two tied the knot in a spiritual ceremony which was televised during the season finale. Not long after the tell-all was filmed, Vanessa shocked fans when she announced her decision to leave the Snowden family in a since-deleted Instagram post, stating, After some deep soul-searching, I have decided to part ways with the Snowdens. I love Ashley, Dimitri, and the children so much, and I will continue to do so always. However, my love and commitment to them overshadowed my love and commitment to myself. I was not being truly honest with myself until recently. I was ignoring my inner guidance, which was telling me that I do not belong with them in the capacity that they need me to. I know that just because you love someone, or a family, does not necessarily mean that you are meant to be with them. Sometimes, their long-established dynamic is not aligned with your own personal growth and path forward. Our love and life together was very real. I still believe that polygamy can be, and is, a beautiful thing. Love who you want, and love out loud and proud. I wish Ashley, Dimitri, and the children nothing but love and happiness, and I know they wish me the same. After ending the relationship, Vanessa relocated to Australia. The former Seeking Sister Wife star lives nearby her twin sister Adrienne. Dimitri, who owns an artificial intelligence company in Los Angeles, works as an ontological architect. Talking to his Instagram in January 2020, the 39-year-old revealed the family has started selling vapes and CBD oil products online. The Aldridges Jeff Aldridge has 15 children altogether, not just seven, and his first wife Vanessa is related to the Brown family from Sister Wives. That's right! Having separated years ago on bad terms, the Aldridge family patriarch is still legally married to his first wife Cynthia. Cynthia shares eight children with her husband. As referred to in the TLC show, Jeff's first wife Vanessa is a relative of the Browns. How so, you may ask? Well, Cody and Christine's first child, Aspen, is married to Vanessa's brother Mitch Thompson, which makes Aspen the first Brown kid to get married into other plural families. The Brineys Along with their 13 children, Drew Briney and his wives April, Aurelie, and Angela were part of the reality program during the show's first run in 2018. In a family blog posted in January 2019, the Brineys revealed they would no longer be featured in Seeking Sister Wife, blaming the former sister wife April for TLC booting them from the second season of the show. Without getting into many details here, simply put, April left our family and took Drew's and her children back to Utah under the pretext of taking them for a local hike not far from our Oregon home. She never came back. The grief and heartache those of us left behind have been experiencing has been excruciating. We know that the mentally stable April would not have done the things that she's done, the polygamist family shared in the blog post. April, who was Drew's first spouse and his only legal wife for 20 years, reportedly left the family on May 26, 2018. 
We didn't yet know of the sheriff following us with the report of a possibly drunk, on drugs, suicidal, mentally crazed mother who had kidnapped her children against their will, or of my husband chasing fiercely behind us. April revealed what really went behind the scene. We only knew we had made it this far, and we still had a ways to go. And then from there, I didn't know. But I summoned all the courage I could find within me, and we continued on our journey, she continued. According to the update, April's children spent half of the 2020 summer with their dad Drew in Oregon, leaving her alone in Utah. The McGee's The second season of Seeking Sister Wife followed the journey of the McGee's in their hope of finding a sister wife after their Mississippi home burned down. Due to Paige's admitted jealousy issues, Bernie never found a woman he wanted to marry into the family. Sadly, Bernie passed away in June 2019. According to Paige, the 41-year-old had been outside riding his bike on a hot day when he suffered heat stroke and a heart attack. He was taken to St. Dominic Hospital in Jackson, Mississippi, where he was pronounced dead on June 15. Shortly after news of Bernie's death broke, Paige followed one Facebook post with another, accusing her brother Patrick Marble for the husband's untimely death. He did this. Patrick's constant lies and attacks against us caused this. Patrick and my mother, having us arrested for not doing a damn thing wrong, did this. We were financially put out for having to hire lawyers, investigators, and missing work for this bull Patrick Marble has admitted numerous times he would not stop until we were fired from the show. Well, that never happened, so he continued his bullying and harassment. Bernie has been under so much stress, and the stress of going to court this coming Wednesday with fear of one year in jail wore on Bernie. Bernie was so upset the day we were arrested because our sons had to watch us being taken away. Every night since then, Bernie has said over and over, the look on Johnny's face. He just couldn't get over that. Patrick Marble and I do not have a relationship. We never have. Patrick Marble, you killed my husband, and I hope you burn in hell. And you better stay the hell away from me and my family. Her Facebook post read. The Winders. And finally, the big baby news. After announcing they were expecting their first child together in November last year, Colton and Sophie welcomed a baby boy named Ifram James on April 20th. The family shared the news on their joint Instagram profile, gushing, Our son finally made his appearance yesterday, and we're all so in love already. It's been a little hard not to have any visitors in the hospital, and Sadie has been excitedly awaiting her meeting with her baby brother. Sophie and the baby are both doing well. He was born at 9 pounds, 5 ounces, and 22 inches after a long night. Welcome to the world, our dear Ephraim James Winder. Congratulations to Colton, Tammy, and Sophie. That's it for today. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you stay up to date with celebrity gossip and the latest showbiz news.